So welcome back to the savanna part two. So we can go through these plants pretty quickly, just like we did with our temperate grassland biomes, because there's not much to talk about. We're going to have obviously grass, since this is a grassland. And we're obviously going to have a few trees that pop up sporadically throughout the biome, because again, trees are what is going to make the savanna different from our temperate grassland. If we look in our background back here, it shows a wide plain filled with dry grasses, and we have those few sporadic trees that pop up here and there. So this is a great depiction of a savanna biome. So obviously there are going to be a few environmental issues that are going to pop up in our savanna biomes. So the first one that we are going to talk about is climate change, and we've touched on this before for a few other biomes. So our climate change is going to affect some of our seasonal, annual, our minimum and maximum temperatures that will occur here, as well as changes in precipitation patterns. We're also going to see some wildfires that occur here, just as we did in our temperate grassland biome. And again, this is usually caused by lightning that will strike and it will catch fire due to how dry our grasses are. We're also going to see drought again. And this drought is going to be caused due to the very little rainfall that occurs in this biome overgrazing from many different of our animals, such as our herbivore animals that will eat up all of our grass. So now moving on to our last environmental issue for the savanna biome, we're going to be talking about poaching and illegal hunting. So animals are going to be poached and hunted for different reasons in our savanna biome. If we look down here, we have a zebra, which is most likely hunted for its pelt and coat. Other animals that are hunted for their pelts are going to include lions as well as cheetahs. These animals are also hunted as trophies. Other animals that are going to be poached include rhinos and elephants. So elephants are going to be hunted for their big tusks, and this is because their tusks contain ivory, which are very valuable. We're also going to see rhinos being poached for their horns. In some cultures, rhinos' horns are used as medicine, so they were poached and killed just for this little piece to put into their medicine. So now we have made it to our last and final slide for our Savannah Biome Part 2. So again, this is going to be your Frere model, so we have our title right here in the center that says Savannah. What you need to put down in your location quadrant is going to be that it is located in South America, India, Africa, and Australia. Some of the key points for our climate include that the annual precipitation is around 150 centimeters per year. Our average temperatures are going to be between 61 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter and 93 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, so we do have our two seasons for this biome. We're moving down here to our flora and our fauna, so remember our flora is going to include our grasses, weeds, and our scattered and clumped trees. Make sure you get this down because this is again what makes our savanna biome different. Our fauna can include zebra, cheetahs, lions, gazelles, wildebeest, hippos, elephants, hyenas, and many, many more. Our interesting facts, this is, has both a wet and a dry season for the savanna biome. Most of our rainfall comes down to the wet seasons, forcing animals to migrate during our very dry seasons. Now again, these are just some of the highlights, but make sure you also include some of the things that I said in our video to fill out your Frere model. So please take a few moments to do this before moving on.